some people might listen to this and say, wow, this is the best song I've heard from an architect so far. Hey, what's going on? It's Rogan Josh, my bass player from Adelaide in South Australia. New architect song. I love architects. I'm so excited for the new album. Really want to hear it. So this is Meteor from Those That Wish To Exist. Let's go. Be interesting. The last two songs have been very unique. It will be interesting to see what this one's like. Let's go. Ooh. Doesn't sound very architecty. That drum beat's very pop, isn't it? It's driving, but it's poppy. And the synth doesn't sound quite right. We'll see how it goes. It's not a synth, it's a guitar line. It's weird having the effects on Sam's vocals. Oh, I love this pickup. Oh, interesting drum beat. Good hook. That lead guitar line just doesn't doesn't sound architecty. I I don't mind it. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about this one. Drums are everywhere. I love it. What will save this song is where it goes. When I say save this song, I just mean make it a standout song. Save it from being just another song on an album to being a song in its own that it's like, whoa, did you hear that? Because so far, this is very good, but this is just establishing a style for the album, really. It seems pretty standard of the new stuff they're going for. Um, it's really kind of making a statement on this is the kind of music that we're doing. Is it just the guitar tones that make this not sound as heavy? I love that second bit. Love how that goes. I really love it. Wait. Yo. I've been talking into the wrong part of this new mic ever since I got it. That is so much louder. All right, let's go. Interesting falsetto bit. I don't expect a breakdown. I don't think it is a bit. Is this going to go big? Where is this going to go? Wait, drop. Really? There it is. whole song is just waiting for that moment. Oh, that's a weird, that's a weird change. And then it's, it's morphed back into the chorus. That bit was so big. It's like, 
I feel like if I was writing this song and I had that part, even if I had the final product of this song, I'd say, all right, let's start again from that big bridge and let's write the song around that and give it more of that feel. Because I feel like it's huge and it's great, but it doesn't quite fit the rest of the song. And then the way that they just transitioned the drums into it then being the chorus, I just, it, it, it didn't feel right coming from such a big epic bit, stopping it probably a little bit too early and then just kind of drum rolling it into, into the chorus, I don't know. Yes, there it is. Mmm. God, I need a second to think about this one. The beginning sounded so standard. But not standard for them, standard in a new direction that they're going in. But then that bridge was so big, and then that little outro was huge as well. The feel that they prov the feel that they can create in those bridges is huge. Like staring at the album artwork while listening to that song, it gives that big epic feel. But then the rest of the song, the chorus, is just a standard kind of pop rock drum beat. I think it's a good song to, ha to have on an album when you're transitioning your sound to more of a mainstream feel. And it's nice that it has the big moments, but this one just isn't as good as the other ones, and that's fine. They can't all be the best song. I understand that. They can't all be the best song and what I think is the best or not the best is completely different to other people. Some people might listen to this and say, wow, this is the best song I've heard from an architect so far, you know, like, so, very interesting. Gone With The Wind is my favorite architect song, if that gives you any bearing on my style of music and what I love from them. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I usually edit my pauses out, but I think I'm gonna leave them in this one because I think the pauses say a lot. I'm just, I'm gonna have to give it a few more listens. I think it's a good album song. I'm glad they didn't do it. They didn't do a video for it. So it's not a single, it's just one that they've put out there before the album came out. Interesting pick to put out beforehand. I think if this song was just mid, like mid album, mid track list, and this one came on, I don't wanna call it a filler. But that chorus and the verse, the verse drops down so much, the chorus is so standard that for most of the song it does feel like an album filler, but then the ending is very large. I would have written the entire song around the ending trying to evoke that feeling, and you have to have lows to create highs, so you can't just have that ending for three minutes because then it wouldn't be special, but there's a way to make the rest of the song special in a smaller and different way um, that isn't as standard, I think. All right, super interesting. I still love Architects and it's a good song. It's just my, my expectations for them are so high because they're one of those next level bands. You know, they're, they're the future of our genre of music and metal and metalcore. So everything that they do, God, there must be a lot of pressure on them. I wonder if they feel the pressure when they're recording because what they do and what they bring out shapes a whole generation of bands following them and what they are, what they feel like they can do with their writing and, and releases. But yeah, Meteor by Architects. I just want this album. I want to listen through. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this one, you can hit like down below. And if you want to see my videos as they come out, you can, subs you can subscribe to the channel. I'm a Twitch streamer. Come on over to Twitch. I play games, mostly Destiny. Come watch, chat, talk about music, talk about whatever. Always down for that. And follow me on everything else. I've got my top 100 songs of all time playlist down below. And yeah, thanks so much. I'll see you next time. See you guys.